Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another video. So we're going to be making a guide for Garen top lane today. Also we're playing against a counter matchup which is actually kind of an annoying one. But anyways for the best runes for Garen. I would recommend Conqueror with Triumph with Alacrity. Last Stand with Revitalize. And Second Wind. Now depending on the matchup you're going to play against. You want to either go Second Wind or Bone Plating. Against Poke, you want to go second of wind. Against like other melee matchups, you want to go bone plating. Also, revitalize is very important. Now, as far as it goes for the bonus stats, I would recommend either like attack speed AD with armor or magic resist or health scaling. In this case, I got health scaling because I wasn't quite sure whether I was playing against AD or AP, so that's kind of why. Actually, it was like two of them. For the skill order, I would uh, recommend maxing E, then Q, then W. And as for the entire full build, I would recommend to check out the description below because I'm going to place everything there. Um, but anyways, with that being said, I just missed another one. Wow. So basically, in a counter matchup like Teemo, uh, Teemo is actually one of the most, uh, <laughs> most unfun lanes of Garen, I guess. Typically, any kind of matchup which is ranged uh, and pokes a ton is considered as a counter matchup for Garen. And that's mainly because, like, Teemo can literally kite us down and we won't be able to do anything besides uh, farming out and waiting for the big opportunities, I guess. But that doesn't mean that we can't do anything, so don't worry about it. As long as, as long as you have the proper setup in the matchup like this one, uh, you should be okay. But there is a lot of things that we can do in a counter matchup like this one. So typically the first thing which I would recommend in a matchup like this one is playing as safe as you possibly can until the opportunities rise up. So basically we want to set up the lanes for gangs for as much as possible. But letting Teemo push it in. Actually, we can kill this guy here. Don't know if uh, Lee Sin actually realizes it. Okay. As you guys can see, like, it's pretty difficult for us to actually, like, walk straight up into Teemo and actually do something. Because every time we press Q, he can just W away and he can wait out until the movement speed is actually away. But... Even if ganks don't work very well, even if we don't actually happen to kill Teemo at all during laning phase, uh, there's still a th plenty of things we can do, such as like teleporting around the map or getting things done, basically. I'm gonna try again. If we get a flash down, it would be great. Okay. If you uh, if you happen to get a flash down on, on a counter matchup like Teemo, uh, in the Garen, like Garen Teemo matchup, then I would like. Like, the next time we actually engage in Teemo, we can actually kill him right away. Mm. He actually doubled... Like, he actually used his W straight away and walked back. I was hoping I could get a Q off. If I actually had a Q off, we, I think we could have killed him right away. Feels really bad, but whatever. It's okay. It's fine. Now, all we have to do right now is simply get close to Teemo and see if we can potentially get, like, a kill off on him. Now, as far as, like, the matchup itself goes, even if we don't get those chances, even if we don't get those opportunities, uh, we can still use our TP to carry around the map in a smart way. We've got to be playing really smart to, uh, to get a fan in a game like this one. Typically, the way how you want to play Garen uh, is by saving your TP for as much as possible because uh, TP is one of the keys towards like roaming and getting kills basically. Having your TP up in certain cases is really important, I'll show you. Now as far as farming goes, we're actually ahead of like 20 CS right now. Uh, the more CS we can get, get, get ahead, the better it is. Teemo is probably going to focus on, like, poking us as much as possible. So he's probably going to be missing out a lot of farm too if he, uh, if he greets out too much. We're actually getting ganked here at the moment. Hmm. Okay, there's Lilia right here. Now, if he tries to, like, chase us... 
Okay. There we go. We got him. So not only are we actually 1v1ing the Teemo, the counter matchup, but we're also taking down the jungler by outplaying these guys, both of them. This guy was constantly like walking around like the wall right here, seeing if he could get to me. And Teemo is just here like trying to kite me down, but obviously we had the Q&E, so... The first item which I would recommend is getting the Trinity Force. The quicker you can get this item, uh, the better it is, actually. Uh, there we go. Now, specifically, out of the three items from the Trinity Force, the first thing I would always recommend is getting uh, this one. Mainly because it gives CDR, but it also gives attack speed, which is going to make your E a lot stronger. So... If you actually have the goal to afford one of these items, I would always recommend getting the the attack speed first. And then afterwards getting the like these ones, I typically go for page most of the time as secondary as quickly as possible. Kinda depends. Now this lane gets really interesting now. Because now we actually have some more attack speed. If we can only get a single Q off on this guy, it's gonna be really fun. <coughs> As far as farming goes, we're actually still ahead of him. There, let's get to see us. There's actually a, a jungler right behind us. I'm gonna go for this. If he walks up to me, then we'll probably get him. No. Okay, no problem. As soon as we go back to base the next time, we're going to be buying a boots as this, as quickly as possible so we can actually reposition ourselves a lot better. <clears throat> for now, for temporarily, this is gonna this is how it's gonna be. He's not getting any closer to us. It's just how the matchup goes. At least for now. Things are going to get a lot better eventually. It's just a matter of time. Good thing is like if we don't if we're not in combat, we're just gonna be healing back everything again. So each like all of the poke we get is gonna be we'll be fine. I would really like to TP down there just to take these two kills, but if if I TP down right now, this Teemo is gonna get like two platings for free. Uh very fast, so. Actually don't want this to happen. Let's take all of this. Now we can start maxing my Q, which is going to be pretty useful for the lane. Let's push this out. I would really like to TP down there just to get all of these catches, but if I TP down right now, they will kite me down pretty easily, so I'm going to have to avoid it. I'm pretty sure, like, at some point during this game, uh, we will get, like, a really good teleport off where we can definitely, like, help out bot lane. Hopefully, it's gonna come. Uh, as far as the lane goes, it's, pr like, Teemo is probably gonna be, ch like, kiting me down from now all the time. But if we only get, like, a single Q off on him, uh, we will be able to take him down. This is typically what I'm talking about. If we only hit a single combo on Teemo, it's going to be an easy. Uh, it's going to be very easy for us. I'm just going to push this one slowly, uh, mainly because I want to try to get the next wave too. There we go. We got him. So even in a counter matchup like uh, Garen up against a Teemo, we're still winning this by playing extremely smart. This is typically like the power of Garen. There we go. We can take at least three platings at the moment. Nice. Push this next wave. I 
and now we can actually go back to base. So not only can we get the boots being finished right now, we can also also like finish up the next item, which is going to be the page, which will allow us to like chase down this team mode much easier. There we go. Fighting Teemo is going to be actually super easy right now. All we need right now is 1Q, press E, chase him down all the way, and then we kill him right away. So, would be great if Lee Sin actually does decide to gank top lane right now. He's, instead of that, he's actually doing the hero, which I think is not smart. I don't think he pays attention too much. Okay, as you guys can see, like Teemo, as long as you, if you don't hit your Q, it's still going to be hard. This is kind of the issue about the matchup. Each uh, each auto he does is going to be extremely painful. Okay, I'm here, so. Hmm, pretty close. Okay, this is really unfortunate. Once again, Lee Sin is having the most rough game ever in the entire game. He's actually having such an insanely bad game against this Joner. While mid lane is actually worth a thousand gold. He's actually really strong at the moment. But I think if we take him down once, we're going to get like lots of gold. So... We're going to have to find an opportunity to like catch that Jon. Because he's just super OP at the moment. Let's see if we can stop this guy. As soon as he comes close, I'm going to uh, give it a try. Hmm. One cube was needed. But he didn't hit. Alright. Let's uh, push up the next wave. Got to be really careful though that mid lane is currently missing. He could be coming topside at this point. <clears throat> Place a ward down here. We can get at least the last blading. I'll quickly get it. Nice. We got every single plating of the turret. So despite being in a matchup which is actually just bad for Garen, we're actually still having a really good time getting every plating and all that stuff, so. This is really good for us. The only thing we need right now is to eventually get the Trinity Force, which is like 800 gold at the moment, so. At least for now, like Timo can kite us very easily because he already has the sorcerer's boots. Uh, if he places very flawlessly, we won't be able to catch him. But, but if we stay safe, at least we're gonna take this next coming wave. Or at least I think Lily is right behind us. Yeah, she's taking the camps. Yeah. I can't defend top lane very easily because the jungler is having like too much pressure. Alright. Well, that's not a problem. Alright. Now, all we need right now is getting one Q off and that's it. These guys are having like insane pressure on the map right now. It's not very good. Teemo can do this for the rest of the game. <clears throat> That's like the worst part. Oh. We ran three straight through some of the shrooms. Okay, so currently it's the 40 minute mark of the game. We got we surpassed the 40 minutes. So, we actually got like one plating ahead of Teemo, which means technically, technically, we are now ahead of the Teemo. 
Now, of course, it's not going to help us in any way because it's going to get a turret now, but... Um, we have successfully got multiple platings in a bad matchup. Now, the next thing we got to do is forcing good situations. Forcing like 5 against 4 situations where Teemo is not in the team fight. That's going to be our next objective, so... Our main focus right now is to split push, focus Teemo on the side lanes, uh, or force him at least. And then focus on roaming around the map, seeing if we can turn things into uh, 5 against 4. We've managed to cancel his backport. Nice. He's probably going to stay anyway. There's a shroom right there at the moment. I need slightly more for my first item, so it's only a matter of getting like a hundred more gold. Kind of annoying, all the shrooms. Alright, let's actually make my way back. Now, let's actually get my Trinity Force, and now we can actually start snowballing on the game. Hopefully, we can still snowball this, because the enemy team is actually pretty fed. Alright, we're going to be going bottom first. Team was scrolling the top side, so we can make this a 5 against 4. Nice. Now, unfortunately, we couldn't get the Yon while he was worth like a thousand gold. But we still have my ult. Hmm. He's probably not going to be anywhere close. Probably not. He's worth so much gold, but I hardly doubt he's gonna. Yeah. I hardly doubt like Yon is gonna try to turn that because I can ult him immediately. We're just gonna have to keep on uh, getting cash just throughout this game. As long as we don't get tilted based on how fat this guy is, then we should be okay. I was actually kind of hoping that I could get it for myself, just specifically for chasing and, and the split pushing, but whatever. I'm gonna push bottom right now. The next time we will get is gonna be a Phantom Dancer. It's gonna allow us to like be a lot more tanky, but also uh, going even more aggressive. These guys are actually fighting here right now. They're getting like lots of catches, which is very good. I don't see Yon though, so he could be bot lane. He could be, yes, he's actually here. Now, obviously, we can't fight that Yon because he's way too strong for us, but uh, we're just gonna have to continue farming. If Yon is like farming bottom, it's actually pretty good because he's not around my teammates. Let's take this one, meanwhile. We just want to keep on farming up as long as like nothing happens throughout the map. Hopefully he does not get... Oh, okay. He's actually getting the camp. I will need to get health from Lucian if you want to actually like kill that Yon. He's still worth like a thousand gold, which is huge. Okay, let's go back to base and we're gonna afford this item which is going to allow us to uh, get even more damage. The sooner you, we get the Trinity Force with, uh, with Phantom Dancer, the stronger we're gonna become because it's like one of the core builds of Garen. Now it's all about getting catches. I'm gonna push up the next wave too. I actually got my teleport right now, so we can just uh, split push. This guy is getting a catch again. Gonna have to wait uh, for the right opportunity, which is now actually. Okay, we, we just need the team to be going all in. got him at least or actually we nearly got him 
Yon is coming here too, so I'm gonna have to run this way. Yon is gonna come from here. We can't afford to give him more, so... It's actually really unfortunate how we couldn't get the vein because we got kicked away, but we also couldn't get the Pantheon because he walked away. Alright, fine. Oh, He tanked out the entire ultimate. Uh, uh, that's actually really unfortunate. Like, the only real reason why we're actually losing this game is because this guy has, like, 12 kills. It's the only reason. Technically, like, we could snowball this super easily, uh, especially with all the kills that have got away since recently, but... Uh, maybe we still gotta catch on him. I'll be getting my Fender Dancer real soon, I just need 120 more gold. As soon as I get my uh, Fender Dancer, things are going to get really easy. Nice. Alright, time to go back to base right now. We're uh, going to be getting my Fender Dancer. This is going to be kind of tricky. Because it's all about getting the catch right now. Hopefully Lee Sin is actually going to come back because he's actually AFK at the moment. He's actually a lower level than my AD carry. Which is uh, quite interesting. Alright. Fane is like pushing topside. We barely know where the where people are on the map at the moment. We can try to catch this guy, however. Lee Sin did an absolute failure there. Lee Sin actually kicked a kill backwards. Okay. Uh, she's not gonna get me. Ah, Yon comes in and finishes me off. So that vein was kiting me down all the way. It would have been perfect if my team decided to actually focus Vayne. <laughs> rather than like focusing Lilia. It's okay though, we actually got like an assist from both of them. Once again like Yon gets away. We're not getting the kill on this guy yet. Still worth a thousand gold, still 13 kills. So the next item which I would recommend is, uh, you know, gonna be a death stand. So we have the Trinity Force with Fender Dancer, and then the next item it would always be a death stand. Mainly because not only does this item give you like armor, magic resist, but it also once again uh, gives you CDR and it also gives you the effects, which is the main part of this item. Also, not to forget to mention the damage, which is very nice. Technically, like, we're super far ahead of the Teemo. We could fight this guy whenever we want to, actually. Gonna have to be really careful. My TP is actually 50 seconds. Uh, so I could split push right now, but I'm... I'm afraid that these guys are gonna get caught at some point. Yon is currently farming top lane, so... We're going to have to take an opportunity to get this guy here. If he actually decides to come closer to me, then... Okay. Yon is coming from the top side. Okay, that's fine. I got my TP coming in in about 10 seconds, so we can start split pushing right now. Here we go. Timo might be coming bot lane soon, sooner or later. People getting caught by that guy again? Uh, let's see here. 
Oh, if if he actually jumped on uh, Teemo, we would have forget we would have had him. That Jone it might have like lots of kills, but he's still very weak. We could still kill him with a single combo. Technically, technically we could. Just gonna have to keep on farming out camps. They're probably doing the Baron right now. All right. Let's go back to base real quick. I'm gonna be affording this item now. That Lee Sin is gonna get caught. It was pretty obvious that they were doing the Baron, but he's still getting caught anyways. This guy is currently stacking up 12 deaths. Unbelievable. I think if uh, if all those 12 deaths from Lee Sin uh, were cut off the 25 kills that they have, it would be 50%. Okay, there's some strums right here, but no problem. I'll just heal right through it. In terms of like XP, we're about even out as Teemo right now. Uh, we're actually pretty far ahead in this game still. Pantheon is probably going to be bottom soon. Maybe, maybe not. No, he's actually going to be mid. Okay. Let's take up the next one. This guy's gonna get caught by the Yone again. He's actually, they're fighting again. They gotta relax a little bit. I'm actually being forced to go bot, like I'm actually being forced to go back to base right now because they are actually pushing down the, uh, the, the base. We gotta try to protect this somehow. Let's see. We do we just need to press R on Yon once and that's it. Okay, hold on. I think I could TP right behind these guys. If Lee Sin reacts right- Okay, Lee Sin is not reacting. Uh, Lee Sin is not reacting, he's trolling. Alright, this game is probably over. Okay, uh, uh, not only is this guy 13 deaths, but he's trolling the game. Hmm, okay. Kind of unfortunate having uh, someone like this on the team. Uh, we're pretty close to my death stands. So we just need to have like 500 more gold. As soon as we get death stands, we can actually fight like all of them pretty easily. Except from Yon, of course. He's got like 18 kills. I'll just sell the Dorn Shield right now. The Dorn Shield is not going to help me much anymore. going to be a fight right here we could fight this one because Yon is actually bottom hmm. Yon is bottom so we got to take this opportunity to fight these guys now like half of the team is now going bottom to the Fenty and hip this one's going to be uh, they will be able to push this one The Lysin got caught again. 14 deaths, man. That's a lot to stack up. His jump will cancel. Ah. 
Anyways, this game is over. Unfortunately, we needed to have a, a jungler trolling this game. Actually, have like stacking of 14 deaths. Really upsetting. He's really like actually grieving in this game. But anyways, you know, this, despite uh, this game maybe losing it, despite that, despite the inner team being super fed and all of that stuff happening and being in a counter matchup, we've actually won the counter matchup. I've been able to show you like everything on how to carry on Garen in lane, uh, even in a super hard matchup. And also I've been able to show like the mid late game. So with that being said, guys, thank you for, so much for watching today's video. Also, don't forget to check out the stream if you actually want to see like challenger gameplay. I'm streaming like six times a week, so don't forget to check that out, guys. But anyways, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys up next video. Peace.